Hey friends, welcome to it. This is day one of 75 days of being my favorite self. This isn't a new concept to me. My therapist a couple years ago was talking about like how to shift your mindset from being your best self to being your favorite self. A lot of times your best self is your favorite self because if you're doing things that are good for you, it's gonna be your best self, but it's also the favorite version of yourself. I don't know how to describe that. Sorry that this is gonna be a little shaky. You're in my truck, my dad's truck. To prepare for 75 days of being my favorite self, I need to clean my room. I need to also like write a list of things that make me happy, like things that bring out my favorite self. You know what I mean? I just really decided I don't wanna do 75 hard. I don't feel like it allows you to build those habits. Like, I get me wrong, I think you do build those habits in 75 days, but I also feel like once the 75 days are up, people just like completely stop. And I also feel like it doesn't give room for like mental, I don't know. So I'm doing 75 days of being my favorite self and hopefully that gives me room for compassion. It also gives room to accept that every day is going to look a little different for me. You know what I mean? And that's just how it should be for me. Every day I need to do different things to bring me to where I need to be. There are certain things that I really have goals for. Number one is having some sort of morning and night routine. Journaling, meditating. And you're probably asking, Jordan, why are you filming this? Great question. Because I need some sort of accountability partner and I think it would be really cool to just document it. It's just the kind of person I am. so excuse the atrocious loud fan. I am actually on my way to the gym. This is day three of 75 days of trying my best, um, trying to be my favorite self. It's interesting, like trying to find a balance between like not pushing yourself past what your body can allow, but also like pushing yourself to like still do things. Cause like I need to push myself or else 
I'm gonna lay in bed all day and that's like not good for my mental health actually um, and that's one thing that I've realized is like the things that are hard are the best for your mental health and they actually help you so I need to do things that help me even if they're hard but they're hard and that sucks anyways I'm going to the gym <laughs> but it's snowing so I had to clear off the car shovel path so that's already more than what I would do so but I'm going and anything is better than nothing the artist way there's these things called morning pages and I used to be really dedicated to them it's basically journaling three minutes the second you wake up so I'm trying to get back into that so I'm journaling um, we'll see if I get to three pages I got a haircut this morning the bangs are a lot shorter than I thought they were going to be um, but it's okay day three or four of 75 days of being my favorite self and I'm not really my favorite self yet. I still am like, I don't know, working on it. But my favorite self is compassionate. So that is also what I'm working on. And I start house sitting just down the street. So I'm actually really excited for that because I think it'll give me like just a new space. Um, so I'm going to clean my whole space today and then go over there. And I think that'll just be easier. I don't know. I just like start laying in my bed and then get really lazy. And I think being in a new space will be good. Keep me on my toes a bit more maybe implement some of these habits and um, yeah, I'm excited. I will be house sitting for the next month, so it'll be good.
what day I'm on on the 75 days. I think it's like five or something, but this is not a 75 hard challenge. This is just 75 days of just seriously trying my best, being my favorite self, and that looks different based off of energy levels, life levels, life, I don't know. But just pouring effort into myself and my daily habits and just like working through that. There's a lot of Capricorn placements right now going through my third house, so really working on that. But this is actually great for me because I just started house sitting for my neighbors, which is really convenient because if I forget something or if I want to run home really quickly, I can. I can go back to my comfort area, but I'm also in a new space where I feel like I can actually develop these habits and get more done and not want to like lay in bed all day you know what i mean like i have to get up i have to walk the dog i have to feed the dog i have to feed the cat i have to you know do these things that i'm responsible for i mean at my old house i also have to feed the cat but here i also have like the whole house to myself like at home when you live at home with your parents if you know you know it's just like your bed is your safe space like i don't really leave my room too much besides to like make food and stuff and um, I know that's kind of sad, but I don't like to like sit down in the living room. I don't like to have people invade my space when I'm like trying to be alone. Um, so this has been really nice. I didn't film it, but this morning like I woke up, I journaled, I read a little bit by the fireplace. I like made a cup of tea. The cat, if you can hear it, like was like sleeping on the fireplace. It was so cute. Very nice morning. I did a lot of shoveling this morning. So I'm counting that as my workout because it was heavy snow. It's still snowing. Um, we at least got a foot. Now I think I'm going to hopefully edit a YouTube video or write. And that's how I'm going to spend the rest of my s Monday. I was like, Sunday. My phone's in Spanish. I was like, lunes. Lunes es Monday. <laughs> Okay, I woke up with a writing score of what, like 90 today? Oh, Jesus. Woke up, I published my blog post. I published my blog post. I finished that, I edited it, posted it. And then I posted on Instagram. I posted on, trying to been posting on TikTok to just like let people know about the blog post. Um, just because that's where I have followers. So I'm like, please follow my blog. Um, she's gonna go to the gym. Normally, I'm the type of person that if I don't go to the gym right in the morning, I'm probably not gonna go at all, but I'm actually really excited to go at this time of day. I think it might actually help the like mid-afternoon lull that I get. I always get really tired early afternoon, so hopefully this kind of keeps me energized before work. So since I now have the space to like sit down and talk to my camera, I want to make it a habit of like talking about my day of 75 of being my favorite self. You know, just show more personality on camera again. It's really interesting because when I first started TikTok, it's like I was like oversharing on the internet. Like I would literally post clips from my therapy session. And looking back at that, that is so cringe. It's so crazy to look back at. Um, but it really helped me to find community and it was really great. I felt like people knew me. And now I feel like like on Instagram, you don't see that side of me. And I feel like on YouTube, kinda, but not really. And it's just been weird. And I feel like with my TikToks lately, it's just like stepping back and being like, I wanna protect part of myself and like, I don't even want TikTok at all and like I've been posting TikToks but only to like promote my YouTube and my blog. It's been a recent thing. I've been thinking about more of the talking aspect of YouTube because because part of the reason why I like videoing and taking photos of stuff is I like the creative aspect aspect of it and I think I love the idea of just like making like an aesthetically like pleasing vlog of like little clips of life because I think all life is beautiful and like the mundane mundanity mundanity mund mundaneness of life there's so much beauty in it like if i filmed this tea mug like you will find clips of me making tea that is nice you know but i also like want to add personality but i also think like i will be talking for like i don't i don't want my youtube videos to be three hours you know what i mean but for the actual update of my 75 days of being myself Today is a day that I don't remember. I also did not like check anything off of my my list today. I just didn't do it. Um, so let's see what I did and let's go through it. So this morning I did a full skincare 
um, routine. I did, I brushed my teeth. I did not go for a walk. I did make breakfast. I did not meditate. I did journal. I did make a tea. I did not lift weights. I did go to the gym, but I did not lift weights. I did not read a book. I did write for 30 minutes and I did post a blog post, soulcharging.com. That was a wink if you, <laughs> um, no social media for the first hour. I did no social media for like 30 minutes, which is a start. It's better than rolling over and scrolling on Instagram. No smoking. I did not smoke. I took an edible to go to the gym. If I'm being honest, I think I'm just going to start habit stacking that, which just sounds crazy, but like, that's just like how it has to go. So I did a series actually on my TikTok about quitting smoking uh, the devil's lettuce. Um, and I did quit like for like six months. I think I think I went completely sober for six months and then I would kind of just do it on and off. And then when I traveled in Europe at the start of the year, I didn't smoke at all. And then I came home and I was on and off and then travel and then I was smoking when I was in Switzerland a bit and then I came home and now here I am and I'm like oh I cannot keep smoking again um but edibles are good like edibles are fine I actually think they're good it's kind of like my way of self-medicating my ADHD and I really like to take an edible and then go for a walk or go to the gym something like that and it's crazy I just never thought that I would think that's an enjoyable way to be high but I don't like to like it I don't know it's good it's good for me it is good for me so I think I'm gonna start habit stacking and then I'll eventually cut out the edibles completely but every time I want to take an edible I have to go to the gym or I have to go for a walk cold shower I did not take a cold shower I didn't shower at all vitamins did sleep in no I'm dog sitting and the dog wakes me up at 7 a.m. and it's actually great um, did not binge Netflix I did not make my bed I did not make dinner. I have not done skincare. I did make a tea. I have not brushed my teeth. I'm gonna read 10 pages and no phone an hour before bed. My phone is about to die. So that is actually something I probably will do. Today was a great day, I would say. Um, my uh, readiness score on my aura thing was like a 92. So I also think that was great. I got great sleep last night. I had like an 88, which is like the best sleep score I've had in weeks. So